Your turn. Okay, so you're up in heaven with God, and he says to you, this is a hypothetical, and Yahweh looks at you, Greg, and says, of my creation, between a beautiful sunset and a clear night sky, which is more beautiful to you, Greg? Which would you choose? What would you say? What would I say, whether I like a night sky or a sunlit day? It kind of depends on the circumstances. I like them both. Okay, if you just ask me what your, my preferences. Your, yeah, like a beautiful night sky, does that show you the glory of God more so than, let's say, a, 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 a sunset or a sunrise? Which no, they're all different. My view is that the whole world is filled with the glory of God, and whether the sun is shining or it's raining uh, doesn't matter. What I want to know is okay. what you're getting at, though. Tell me what you're getting at, okay. and I'll try to answer what you're getting at instead okay. of doing all the hypotheticals. Okay. Oh, no, these are, this, is, this will be a hypothetical. Uh, the next question is, um, so you're up in heaven, and this is uh, the time of Noah and the flood. Okay. And, uh, and Yahweh looks at you and says... Man, you, Greg, you see all these people down there? They've been uh, terrible. They've been unrighteous, except for Noah and his family. I'm going to execute my justice here, Greg. But I'm going to do it one of two ways, and I'm going to—I want your opinion, now, Greg. I'm either going to flood them, or I'm going to just poof them out of existence. Just poof, and they're gone. Mm -hmm. And he's asking your opinion. What do you say to God? Okay, so, so you're asking me to make a moral assessment here, right? No. I'm asking You're for asking your, me to make no no the, no, the no, no 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 no. I'm asking you for your preference on how to execute his justice. It's a moral assessment. Which thing would be better or more appropriate? And what you want me to do is make a judgment on whether I think that what God actually did was the right thing to do. And the way you're testing it is to see my emotional reaction to the idea of drowning people as opposed to poofing them out. So the question that I'd have to ask is, what standard am I supposed to use when I make this moral judgment? He's asking, against your, pre God. He's asking your preference, Greg. Oh, my preference. Oh, my preference, then, is to do what God did. My preference is to do what God did, because my moral standard is that God is the moral standard of the okay. universe. See, that wasn't and if that he hard, made that judgment... It? Pardon so you, me? That wasn't that hard. <laughs> I don't expect it to be. So, I'm not so sure if, the point of that. It's, so you would go with what God here. did? Pardon me? You would go with what God did, and that was to drown babies, toddlers, Right. And... See, the, the, what's going on here is there is an appeal to my emotions and everybody else's is emotions, because it really... Because it really... See, there's a jump in there instead of letting me finish, and so maybe I'll answer the question before you jump in. Okay? There's appeal to emotions which is easy to do, especially things that look ugly on their face. I was asked a question once, gee, if you really believe in capital punishment, would you pull the lever and execute the person? Well, see, one is a moral assessment. The other one is my emotional reaction. They're two entirely different things, and one doesn't relate to the other. If you're asking my opinion, in my worldview, the standard is grounded by God. In another worldview, I don't know what the standard would be. And in fact, I don't know what standard you would have. If I were to ask, for example, are all these people that are going to get flooded Jews? Well, then I could use Hitler's standard, and I say, take them all away, flood them all out. That's his standard, or Pol Pot's standard, because uh, the, you know all the Khmer Rouge, they loved killing babies. They did it all the time. That's their standard. So if we go with anybody's individual standard, maybe your standard, then we just have one opinion against another, and that's what you have suggested. You're asking my opinion, or maybe versus your opinion, or other atheists' opinion. But if it's just a matter of opinion there, morality, then I don't see how you can fault God for doing something that's just different from your, as you put it, preference. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, uh, definitely. I, ju I just don't understand. Like, I was uh, talking to Dr. Mike Lacona today, uh, this morning, uh -huh. and... Um, it actually baffles my mind how we just can't get simple answers. Like, why, why the bloviation? Well, the answer to your question is the questions that you ask have ambiguities, and they also have, um, they are couched in a very certain way to play on certain things. And this is why I ask the questions to get clarification of what's going on here. Are you asking my emotional response to something in the Bible? Look, there are all kinds of things that I react emotionally to in the Bible and all kinds of other things, too. There was things, look, okay. when I was a kid, my dad, 
when I was a kid, my dad did all kinds of crazy things and said things that I certainly didn't agree with or I didn't think were uh, right. But now that I'm older, I see it a little bit differently. So I could respond to all kinds of emotional ways. And if you want to trade on that with your listeners, you're welcome to do that. But that doesn't mean that just because I'm emotionally responding to it, that the thing that happened is actually bad or shouldn't have gone that way. It should have gone my well, way. I, I'm totally prepared to put all my cards on the table and tell you exactly why I asked that question. I think you're close to why I asked it. It's to pit your intuitions on morality against your gods. And I understand that. Yeah, and right. it's very clear. If, especially, um, like, if you were to ask this question to your wife or to someone, or pronounce it in your church and ask them, um, have them visualize a pregnant woman and a toddler. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. then, and with Yahweh taking the heads of the toddler and, and pregnant woman and dunking them under the water until they drown. Mm -hmm. And then ask them, is that the way you would have done this justice rather than just poofing them out of existence? Now, granted, they're evil, but drowning, really? 